the tongue. enough for me. But it's good. It does, well, it's like um, quinoa. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like quinoa. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. And then the macros are pretty good on it. Macros are good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you like it? Mm-hmm. I would recommend this. It's pretty good. There's like mm -hmm. five ingredients to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yay! Yay! I'm just going to keep eating. Yep. Yeah. Good morning everybody, it's been a while since I did a car update, but I just got done at the gym. It is Monday and um, I'm, I don't know what it is, um, I think it might be the weather changing, but I've got something going on in here. Um, and I think that might be why my anxiety has been kind of high lately, because I've had this weird stuffiness in my, in my head, specifically my right ear. Well now, um, I've got more of it, but there's also a little bit of congestion in here. I can feel a little bit of swelling in here. So I think that that might be why um, that was happening and that was causing my anxiety. It was just this weird mess. So hopefully knowing that I'm actually, I've got allergies or whatever this is, kind of puts my anxiety at ease. But I just got done with about half of my upper body workout. Um, I pushed through the first like, five exercises or so and felt okay but I started getting a little warm like warmer than usual and feeling a little iffy so I decided to call it I didn't do my tricep work and I didn't do my core work which I mean come on who really does a lot of core work anyway <laughs> but um so I did that but overall this week has been going I would say as well as it can be with um, the anxiety problems that I was having last week and being busy, but I have been consistent with my workouts. I have been consistent with my macros and on that aspect, I feel pretty dang good. Um, I'm feeling a lot more, uh, I guess a lot less puffy and bloated as I was a couple weeks ago whenever I was just eating a bunch of like more of the process stuff like a lot of my things are more high volume just the things that I really enjoy eating but whenever you go back to eating a ton of processed foods and going out to eat all the time it's easy to kind of slip back into that hole of just a lot of sodium a lot of processed stuff that doesn't make me feel as good does that make sense <laughs> but yeah things are going really well um as far as my physique goes I feel some progress happening in the last like three weeks or so. Um, I think that's whenever I started back up with um, my coach about three weeks ago and that's whenever I started getting back on that consistency. I've not been doing any cardio, you guys. None. None. <laughs> Mind you, during the summer I was doing like five or six days just because I, at the time I wanted to, but 
I don't really have an interest in doing it right now, not gonna lie. I haven't been doing any and I've been making progress. So that's kind of cool. Let that show you guys that you don't have to do cardio. Um, just like with my prep last year, I think the most cardio that I did during my competition prep was three days, two hit sessions and one steady state session that was 25 minutes. But yeah, I'm going to update you guys a little bit more um, as the day goes on. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video and I will see y'all in the next clip. What's up guys? So this morning it is 6.30. Matt and I are about to go vote. I don't talk politics. <laughs> Making cinnamon rolls. I found out that these are some accidentally vegan cinnamon rolls. And yeah, we're going to make these and I'm feeling okay today. Yesterday was pretty rough. It got worse and worse as the day went on. Um, I'm probably gonna probably gonna take a rest day today because um, otherwise I would have a leg day scheduled. Leg day with how I'm feeling is not good. This causes me severe anxiety. <laughs> Press spoon at steam until can pop. I'm just gonna. One bit. I'm gonna see how I feel. We might go climbing tonight if I feel okay. I think. It's all about you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to also close out this video and let you guys know a few videos that I'm planning on getting out. They're super messy. So sometime this week, Matt and I are gonna sit down. I had a request um, for our take on honey and horseback riding. Not at the same time, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but just kind of our take on those two things um, and if they're, if we consider them vegan or not. So we're gonna sit down and do a short video about that. Maybe talk about a few other things that people ask us about, like regarding being vegan, common costumes. And then I'm gonna do more climbing footage when we finally go climb. And then somebody also asked about a supplement review, which I can probably do in my next series update. And then, what was the other one? Oh, uh, tips and struggles for vegan bodybuilding, which is a really, really good topic. So I thought Matt could kind of play in on that one too. But yeah, so those are a few of the videos that are coming up. If things are a little slow at this time, I apologize because I'm just not feeling my best, but I am getting better, taking lots of medicine. I had a lot of good suggestions on Snapchat. I'm gonna bake these beautiful cinnamon rolls. I'll show you all the finished product. That's gonna be it for this week's series. I hope you all enjoyed it. Of course, I always ask to hit that thumbs up as greasy as my hands are really helps the channel. And um, and then of course your feedback in the comment section. I really appreciate talking with you guys in the comments and hearing your suggestions and what other videos you guys like to see. That's gonna be it. And next series update will be a uh, physique update for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And go have a good day. Bye.